Hey everybody, alright, um, today I'm going to be showing you, I'm just going to do a really quick test on uh, four of the main browsers out there. I'm going to do Firefox, Oprah, Google Chrome, and Safari. Um, those are like the main ones for Mac, and obviously as you can tell I have a Mac, so. Um, alright, first let's start out with, um, right now I'm in Oprah, so let's do that. Alright, Oprah gets a hundred out of a hundred. Nice. Now we'll go to Firefox. Hundred out of a hundred for Firefox. Then Google Chrome. Get a hundred out of a hundred. And here again a hundred out of a hundred. Alright, now what I'm going to do is now that we've done this and you've seen that they all got a hundred, I'm just going to talk about some of the features. Alright, so, um, or I'll leave it at this page. Alright, so, um, first let's talk about Safari. Um, as you can tell down here, I am running light, and I'll show you again just to show you. I'm running 7.1. Alright, so, um, with this, so, um, Safari does have full screen. Um, alright, now does Firefox have full screen? Firefox does not have full screen. Um, Oprah has full screen. Let's see what this looks full screen. Pretty nice. Um, Google, Google Chrome does have full, oh, oops, I just minimized that. Google Chrome has full screen. And Google Chrome has the best full screen, I think. Because again, if we hit that button, then it has even more home screen and then we don't even have that thing um... so if you want any of that um... firefox is the only one that does not have full screen All right, now i'm going to uh... check out i'm going to my site com slash html now. Alright, so we're in Firefox right now. And everything's working pretty good. Alright, I think that's working good. Now we'll go to Google Chrome. And I'm just going to copy and paste the link because it's kind of a long one. And let's see. Google Chrome. Alright, now um, this one works the same. Works nice. Alright, now let's try Oprah. Now, as you can see in Oprah, does not really work the nicest. Um, all the colors are this black color, and there's no gradients or anything. It's just all this solid color. Alright, so right now I would say, um, let's just check this browser and see how it does it. Alright, yeah, this one has it. Alright, so I would say uh, all the browsers right now, well, I would say Google Chrome and Safari, let's say they both have a 300. Uh, Oprah has a 200. And Firefox has a 200. Alright, now um, another test I want to see is go to here and then. Oh, I know what it is. Alright, so what we're going to do is go to Alright, here we go. And as you can see, it's this floating bubble. This isn't a video, by the way, this is all just um, animation. And as I scroll down, uh, this thing right here will stay in place. Alright, so right now I would say Safari has a 400 on that. Now let's try Oprah. Oh, one second. I just want to copy this link. Oprah. Um, Alright, so no animation here, but this thing stays in place. About, so there's, um, Oprah still has a 200. See Google Chrome. 
Google Chrome is, um, alright, so Google Chrome and Safari both have 400. No, let's see in Firefox. Yeah, nothing in Firefox. Alright, so the Google Chrome, Safari both have 400, and Oprah and Firefox both have 200. And um, the reason that that animation didn't work, by the way, as you can see, it still plays here. Uh, the reason that it didn't work it, um, in the other browsers is because um, if I can go into my source code, um, this is all it's all WebKit based animation, and so the only browsers that are WebKit are um, Android browser Safari, um, Google Chrome, Safari Mobile. Those are the only WebKit based. Then Firefox is um, Mozilla based, and so as we can see, if I have the WebKit border radius. If I didn't have this right here, this Mozilla border radius, then it would not work. And then Oprah is this right here. I don't know what it's called, but it's just like, that's what Internet Explorer is too. It's like non-nothing. And if we check this, I checked it on my, um, my dad has, um, a PC with Internet Explorer. And, um, he has, I think, Internet Explorer 6. No, seven. He has Internet Explorer seven, and um, all it was, all there was, the shadows, and then the inside would just be there. There was nothing otherwise. So I thought that was kind of disappointing. But um, so for anyone out there, PC or Mac, I would definitely say either get Google Chrome or Safari. Those are definitely the best browsers out there. And plus, I would say Google Chrome probably has the best extensions. If you open up a new page. Um, web store. I would say this um, Google Chrome. I say it probably has the best extensions. Uh, I don't even know if Opera has extensions. I don't think they do. Let's see, Get Widgets. That's probably what they're called. I know they do have some stuff, but I don't think they're that good. Um, I don't see that. Well. I don't know. Um, and then Safari, if we go to um, Apple.com, Steve Jobs passed away. I hope you guys will know. Really sad. Um, Safari, oh, I spelled that wrong. I can just go to Mac. Let me just see how much time I have done. Eight minutes, right? So we can go to Mac uh, Applications. Safari extensions and uh, they have a lot of extensions pretty nice URL shorteners um, they have Twitter translation shopping security um, as you can see I have a couple I have one for um, a better source so if I hit it I don't know this one doesn't always work but sometimes it works. Then I have this like one password. Um, you know, I have to block that content out. But I have one. Then I have like a Gmail one. Or if I take it out of full screen, and you can see I have this one where it tells me all my videos, all my email. And they have lots of cool ones like they have for if we go to like. Most popular. By the way, if you're wondering, I am a little sick. So, yeah. Um, you get a reload button. You already have that, so. Oh, I guess I installed it. Alright, well, anyway, I think that, um, really, that's it for today.